Hi, everyone. I'm Coach Jeremy Nance. I'm one of the coaches of the Insurance Pro Shop. And I want to share with you a tip today. You know, because I get a lot of questions about seminars, workshops, and why agents are failing at them. And there's, there's really two reasons. One, you know, the big reason is repetition. A lot of agents do it one time and it didn't have the results they want, so they stopped doing it. You know, but is there ever been a time in your life you've done something once and perfected it right at the start? You know, so we, we tend to don't want to spend the money, don't want to make the investment. Well, if you're going to invest in seminars, you need to invest in at least doing three to four seminars before calling it quits. You know, so if you're trying to just do a one and done or just one because you're desperate, don't bother. Spend money elsewhere. But if you want to be successful doing it, you have to do at least three to four to get the get the knack, get the timing, get, you know, the all the different communications, the, the processes down. It's going to take time to establish that, all right? So that's first and foremost. But number two, and can be even more critical, is you're not asking the right questions during your seminar or workshop, right? We all, you know, a lot of these seminars works I see today are just 45-minute lectures on social security maximization, uh, annuities, mutual funds, this different sales topics, you know, but... If, if, a peop, if people said the problem they have, why should they want to meet with you afterwards? If you're just throwing up, throwing up information on them for the next hour and they have no interaction with that information, are they going to want to see you any further? You know, so take a step back, look at your, your workshop, look at your seminar, and where can you add a few emotional questions to get your prospects to think about how it's going to benefit them? Questions are the key to this business in all facets, from our marketing, from our closing, from our, our, our discovery interviews, our appointment setting. It's all about asking questions. That's where a lot of us tend to fall off and fail. All right. But so start thinking about what where you can add questions. If you need help, give me a call. Send me over your PowerPoint. Let's review it. Let's add a few questions to show you where we can add value to you in your situation. All right. And also we have, uh, I had a gentleman years ago write a, uh, a, we lured a file a lot of, by asking questions at a seminar. And one of the agents we've been working with the coaching changed to lose gold for seminar marketing. And it's, a, it's part of a resource center and it's a huge archive of what, what questions you can ask, emotional, hard facts, soft fact questions that will get you more appointments in your workshop or seminar. All right. So if you're thinking about doing seminar marketing, you know, don't leave it to chance. Call and find somebody who can help you, guide you through the process so that you don't hit the downfalls like every other agent hits. That you don't have these bombs that cost you eight, ten, twelve thousand dollars. You know, make every dollar you spend count. Get the training you need to succeed in this business. That's all I have for you guys today. Make it a great day.